video. Hi, okay. Do you want to tell me what this is about? This is Risen and Care. It is a self help group. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. It is a self help group for people with mental health problems. We have no funding, only what we're doing ourselves. Yeah. They've closed every other thing. They closed Trassel Lodge yesterday. So we've nowhere else to send ill people apart from listening care. We help them as best we can, but because we've no funding, we can't carry this thing forward. But now they're closing, there's only Redwood left. Otherwise, the people that are really ill with mental health will have to go outside the county. And it's not good enough. And what was the response from the councillors you spoke to as they walked in tonight? Well, they, all the cutbacks. Well, all the cutbacks. Well, they're, they're on the... Their um, wording is says it's government cuts, yeah. uh, which is, I think it is, uh, you know, they've cut too much, they've cut too deep, and uh, it's just affecting all sorts of people, you know, all these pensions, everything. Yeah. I mean, anybody on a low income, they just can't cope. No. I mean, and uh, I don't think it's really fair. No, it doesn't. Okay. All right, guys, thanks very much. Okay. I mean, I go to listening care. I always have done for a long time. Listening care, yeah. Yeah, and uh, we went. I always went when the old stables was there, you know. And I didn't want to move from the old stables. Yeah. But we had to. Okay. All right, guys. Cheers. Okay. I'll get How are you doing that. with them? Yeah. I'm actually a carer for my sister who has, has obviously mental health issues, but she's got special needs as well. I had to give up work to look after my sister. I was in a well-paid job. I was a rapid response carer in the community and obviously earning over a thousand pounds per month. Mm -hmm. I'm now on carer's allowance and income support, which is a big drop. And she relies on this center because it's very low cost. She pays 75 P per day. She gets a coffee, she brings her own sandwiches. Now I look after her and this is my bit of a respite from, from her. Mm -hmm. she, she's already been, she used to go to day, uh, college twice a week. Now she's got once a week. This is the only thing she's got. If I had money, I'd put money in myself, but I haven't. And yeah. this is the only thing that's keeping her going. You know, there's people that are volunteers, like the likes of Debbie. She's got a creative, she can do card making, she does knitting. She gives up her own time yeah. to go and do this to help other people and try and get their promotion of um, self-confidence and keeping them busy. So without this place, we're going to be... I mean, my sister's got such challenging behaviour. Yeah. She'll be behind me all the time. Okay. So this is a big thing. And so if you, so had, if you had to give one message if, to Councillor Sir Hope, to the leader please, of Cabinet... Just, just try and get some money together. Try and help out. I mean, I know there's funding out there. Please yeah. find it, even if it's from the housing the funding that have 60,000. They've got 60,000 to give. Put it in this centre and try and get promotion for people to work for themselves, okay. to, you know, to get some money back yeah. into the okay. place. Remind us of the name and the location. Uh, 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 Listening and Care is in the Gomery Health Centre, okay. and that's in Shropshire. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. No problem, I'll share this with everyone. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Can you put me a picture? What are you? Um, yes, you can say. No. Uh...